Hello YouTubers and welcome to Fun Electronics today. New multimeter review today. I'm gonna talk about the Kaiwitz HT112B, but first I need to play with it myself. Hmm, this looks really nice for first. I really like this case and um, how everything is compact inside. Okay, so this is how the multimeter is looking like. Let me remove the... And I'm gonna turn on the light, the backlight, so you can see it better. It is actually having a very nice look and they made it look like a smartphone. The fact that it has this smart function here uh, makes it sound more like a smartphone actually so Good job on that. It seems like it's a very nice marketing strategy and this multimeter Actually claims that it's a true RMS one So we're gonna put this to test but first some of the functions that this multimeter is having so as you can see it is having um, voltage measurement, both DC and AC, uh, ohmmeter, continuity buzzer, then um, it's having a millivolt meter for more accurate measurements of millivolts, some frequency meter function, then capacimeter, diode tester, and then it comes the current measurement functions like microamps both DC and AC and milliamps and then it has the non-contact voltage detector it will always switch between these three functions here and there is no way I can select between these manually but this is fine because the multimeter itself recognizes and it's able to um, to distinguish between these functions and um, if I want to switch to some of the other functions I have to press this button right here and then it will move the, the virtual rotary switch towards that function so I can select between them if I have multiple sub functions then I can select between them by pressing the select button so right now I'm I'm switching between DC and AC progress bar right here so it seems like it's actually looking really nice this Skywitz HD 112B I'm very pleased with the looks of it it seems to me like from the design point of view it's actually moving to the next generation of multimeters. It's looking very modern, like a smartphone. It's having a very large display and it's really portable. I'm gonna compare some measurements with some other multimeters on the market, but keep in mind that this multimeter, it's a um, mid-class one. So even if I'm comparing it to some industrial multimeters, it's just to give you an indication on how accurate this thing is, okay? Because it claims to be a true RMS multimeter and I want to compare it to the Fluke 87.5. It's just a comparison. These two multimeters are not from the same class. I mean, this is an industrial class one and this is more like for technicians and for everyday use, okay? I'm gonna start by measuring um, some AC voltage and it's gonna keep sweeping between these functions and when I'm gonna connect it to um, a certain 
voltage it should jump on volts here and it should give me the measurement right now I have my power supply set on 7 volts and I have the test leads of this fluke multimeter connected to it if I connect this multimeter to it it should give me the DC voltage as you can see it's not so much of a difference between this multimeter and any other multimeter when it comes to measuring DC voltages every multimeter on the market is usually very accurate so there is no mistake there all these multimeters are actually having a voltage divider there and it's really uh, easy to have multimeters displaying the correct voltage when I'm connecting the test lead to a voltage point you can hear a small like a, a short mechanical switch there and um, this means that this thing must have a, a relay inside to switch between the functions so you have to keep this in mind um, I don't know how many switches this relay can take but compared to a statical multimeter um, this thing is actually having a, a limited lifetime so you will have to keep this in mind I don't know that relay how many switches can it take maybe 200,000 or something like this and this thing um, it's definitely not as fast as an industrial multimeter okay now I'm going to take the test leads of this fluke multimeter and I'm going to connect them to the power point which you are not able to see but you are going to have to trust me and suddenly my 87.5 is displaying the power grid voltage so it's the true RMS value of it don't have a really filtered grid voltage here and it's never assigned because it's coming from a battery house and from a generator and it's sometimes um, reconstructed out of small square shapes and sometimes it's just triangular but for our little test here for our experiment it's even better because we can see how this high width multimeter is behaving like I mean they claim that it's a true RMS multimeter and I want to see how it behaves like Keep in mind that the chi width is not as fast as the fluke you can see this i mean the multimeter is not the the microcontroller of the multimeter is not as fast and it will take a time until it averages all the values there and it calculates the true rms value of the measurement 267.8268 I was reading earlier and if I measure it with the fluke it gives me 268.3 so even from the ohmmeter point of view it seems to be somehow accurate and good enough I want to test LEDs this is a real test for me because some of the multimeters are not um, having the necessary voltage for opening up an LED junction let's see if this one has it here we go and it will also display the forward voltage there 2.57 volts the fluke says 2.6 volts well I wouldn't say that this is bad uh, because you can choose to have the measurement being performed at different voltages there I mean the LED will still open if you apply 2.6 volts instead of 2.5 and then 
you can make the measurement at a slightly higher current as you can see it, it seems to me like the intensity using the fluke is a little higher than the intensity you get when you measure it with the chi widths so this means that maybe this thing is measuring it at 5 milliamps and this thing is measuring it at 10 milliamps so that's why you get the voltage difference there let's switch to non-contact voltage measurement so it's supposed to have an antenna here in the upper side of the multimeter and when I'm approaching this to the active wire like from maybe 10 centimeters away it can, it can sense this okay and it also gives so this is for detecting wires in inside the wall right or if you want to detect that you're having a leakage voltage on the case of a fridge or on some other device on some other electrocasting device or if you want to see that you have power through an extension cord or something or if you want to check that some wires are being interrupted inside the wall okay so this is really useful for electricians and it also gives you the possibility of pressing select here and switching from ncv to live and this means that you can actually take the positive lead of the multimeter and you can actually detect like which one is the active wire and which one is the neutral wire and i find this really helpful for electricians okay so again middle class multimeter really good i i really like it So I'm going to test this diode with the um, UT61E multimeter that I have here. So you can see a forward voltage comparison here for um, 76 millivolts. electrolytic capacitors again this is not telling much about the health of this capacitor I mean it doesn't tell me if this capacitor is actually good or bad it's just for identifying them or if the capacitor is so bad maybe 20 years old and it loses capacitance then I can tell if the capacitor is bad but in my opinion, having capacimeter on a multimeter like this is not as good as having a proper capacimeter that measures the equivalent serious resistance of the capacitor. So this is actually good for a technician. Again, if you have components in your shop and you want to measure them, you want to identify them, you have a capacitor that doesn't have a value on its case then you can use the multimeter to identify it and it's helpful for this <clears throat> okay what else I'm not gonna go to measuring Hertz and um, duty cycle because I already went to the AC and it was displaying Hertz. This is another good thing. Maybe it's not having a microcontroller that is as fast as a professional multimeter, but at least it will display these two measurements on the same time uh, on the screen. And this makes up for the lost time, okay? Another thing that I want to test here is to see if I can um, measure MOSFETs I mean if I can test them to see if they are good or bad and if I can uh, test 
bipolar junction transistors. So for this I have to switch to the um, diode tester and then to try to identify the junctions inside this transistor. So this is a um, BC557 So I'm putting the minus lead on the middle and I have to switch the plus on the other two terminals. So in this way I can test if the junctions are good inside the transistor and if I don't have any leakage um, currents in there and if I don't have any short circuited or bridged junction. Okay. So this is how you test transistors with this thing. And when it comes to testing MOSFETs, I first uh, measure between the um, drain and the source. So like this, and I have to find the parallel diode there, which I'm identifying and measuring right now. I mean, it's forward voltage. And if I measure in reverse, then <clears throat> I don't um, have to find any short circuits in there. I mean, if, if the MOSFET is short circuited or breached between um, drain and source, then it's bad. So it doesn't have to display any zero in there. <clears throat> and I, of course I can measure between the gate and the other two terminals to see if I don't have any uh, short circuits in there. And this is pretty much what you can do to test MOSFETs. In addition to all these, it has a flashlight right here on the back. So if you press this button for two seconds, it will turn on the flashlight. It's not really bright, it's just a, an LED few milliwatts there. But it, it can come handy as an electrician tool. So it seems like it's suitable for this domain. So I want to tear it down a little bit now, just to open it up and show you how it looks inside. This is the ammeter fuse. This is a classical relay or a dual relay inside the package. Power supply, main microcontroller, this must be the display chip and this is clearly a voltage divider for the voltmeter and the ohmmeter. The question that it's all coming down to is, should you buy it? And my answer is yes, why not? I mean, I would buy it. It seems to be a very good middle class multimeter and by the looks of the design of this multimeter, I would say that it's the missing link between the classical design of the multimeter and a more modern design which is going towards resembling to a smartphone. I think in the future many more multimeters will be looking like smartphones and they will even have touch screens and large colored displays. If you liked my review video don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this one.